Hey, what's up everyone? So right now what we're gonna do in this video is I'm gonna show you guys how you can add uh, drum kit, sample packs, whatever you want to call it, into your FL Studio. Uh, for the sake of this video, I'm gonna be using FL Studio 20. So let me just open up this bad boy right now. And I will show you where all the packs are and how we can get started on adding our own pack. So as you can see, once we open it up here on the left hand side, you have all your folders. Obviously the one that says packs where you have your stock packs and other other packs that you may have added. So I got like 808 Mafia drum kit, cooking soul, all that good stuff. So what we're going to do is get into the process of how to add our drum kits. So um, you can basically find these drum kits anywhere on the internet. Most notably where I go sometimes is like Reddit. It's like r dash drum kits. There's a whole section. People upload them. You can download them. And usually they can come like this, zipped up. Sometimes it might just be a folder. So for the sake of this video, I'm going to extract it to a folder and then we're going to copy it into the right location. And once we go into Fruity Loop Studio, you'll see that fresh pack that's been added in there automatically. So right click on your drum kit that you downloaded and go to Extract To. And it'll create a folder for it. So as you can see, that's the folder there. Now what I'm going to do is simply right click on that folder, copy it, and we are going to open up our uh, file explorer and we're going to go to our C drive. Go to program files times 86, which is 32 bit version. Open up that folder. And now we're going to look for a folder called image line because that's who makes Fruity Loops. And once you find that folder, double click into there. And now I have FL Studio 11, FL Studio 20. Like I said, for the sake of this video, we're using FL Studio 20. So click on that. Click on the data folder. Click on the patches folder. And boom, you will see your packs folder right there. Double click on that. Once you're in there, right click and paste. So that's the folder the drum kit that we extracted into the folder and we copied over. Now let's go back into here. And as you can see, once I click packs, it's already there. And that's the drum kit that we've added. So it's got some 808s in there. It's got some claps, hi-hats, kicks, links, snares. I don't know what links are. I guess these are just links to his like social media and shit. But um, yeah, that's basically how you add drum kits or sample packs to your Fruity Loops DAW. Um, if you guys have any questions, let me know. I hope this helps you guys out. And uh, make sure you guys subscribe for more videos like this. Also check out some of the beats on the channel and some of the other random videos that I have. And um, until next time, peace.